Okay, hey guys, this is me again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own and add .spa or .sph files. Now, before I get started, I'd like to credit whoever made these on DeviantArt. I have forgotten your name. Forgive me, but I didn't make these, just so you guys know. Find them on DeviantArt. Um, epic person who made those. Great person. Now, um, before we start, i got to get time to put this stuff on. Um, so... Uh, I'm just going to use some earrings that's on 3DCG. Just simple as that. It's take about a second. Um, so, just let me mute the volume. Just, um, let me put some earrings on the custom gale. And we'll get going. And, um, I don't want any boys getting any sneak peeks at what they shouldn't be singing. So, yeah. I don't know what you pervs are going to do now, but you're not going to be looking at this video, that's for sure. Um, yeah, what you going to do now? Okay. So, good to go. Alrighty, so we get the earrings now. Earrings, earrings. Um. Okay, we're going to use pretty pink hearts. The big kind. Yeah, and pink. Okay, anyways, I'm safe. Alright, I'm out. da 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 I do a lot of conversion for MMD, and sometimes when I'm bored, I make anime characters. I never let you go, even in death, I love you so. I'm sorry, you have to hear my awful singing. Forgive me. Alrighty. No, I'm not going to tell you how I got 3D CG and all that. This is not a video for that. I swear, if you ask that, I'm just going to tell you, please find a different tutorial. Which I have one, but it's just not about that. Okay, anyways, so, you got your 3D item, or your item, and now I'm going to show you how to work it and make it look way prettier by adding SPA and SPH files. It'll look way prettier. Okay. These are pretty, right? Like, they look good, but they don't look very realistic. They're very dull. They are pretty cut shape, though. And a color. I like that color. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is wherever you have whatever SPH or SPA file you want to put on it, you're going to take it and you're going to copy it into the folder where the item you want to edit is. I don't know where to look good on this. Let's see. We got metal, so metal. Um, I had to put some metal, and I think shininess will look good, and I think M shine's really good. I like that one. What well, VCC? I don't know. I'm gonna try them both just to give you guys, you know, two examples. Anyways, so once you're done cutting and pasting the, you know, SPA and SPH files, you can open up PMD editor and load it. And I already did that. Now, find the ah. Oh. Anyways, um, oh, please ignore that name. Um, find the, um, part you want to edit. Um, okay, so that's, that, as you can tell, is the wing part of it. See? Um, so I want to put some metal on it so it'll look more like metal and not just some dull color. So down here, I'm going to put metal one dot spa and it'll put that texture on it. Now as you can see it's really really lightly colored. See? So you can darken it just by pulling this down. So we darken it. La la la. I think a lighter color would look pretty but whatever. Hmm. Pretty. See? I don't know if you can tell. Ah, you can tell. Uh, see how much shiny it looks? See how shiny it looks? Now, when I take off the spa file, look, it won't be as shiny. It'll just be, like, dull. See, that's kind of how it used to look. Just plain and dull, and I add it, and it's so shiny and pretty. So it looks more realistic. But that's just the start. Alrighty. Put, put leather... Put another on Miku's boots. It'll look awesome, trust me. <laughs> that's, that's besides the point, though. Um, 
Mm, okay, so this is the jewel part, the um, pretty part. And like I said, I kind of wanted it to be shiny, so I'm gonna try two of them now. Just like before, I get the name. So before you're gonna take the name of it and you know put put the name right here. I'm gonna try CC first. CC dot S P A. I can't tell the difference. Hang on. Ah, did I enter it right? Ah, I don't like this. Windows Seven, why you mean? Oh, it got a little bit shinier. Okay, it must be it shine. Now, let that be a lesson to you. Not all spa files and stuff are going to show up. Eh. And as you can tell, it doesn't blend. But sometimes removing textures helps. Now, pinkish. See how shiny it is? It's like it's reflecting, as you can see. Hmm, not a dark pink. Ah, too much. See how much that helps? It's like really shiny now. It's like reflecting. And so you can imagine how it would look better. And just to show you with a good model, I'm going to show you how good it looks on Miku's boots. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up Miku. Um, um, Miku, Oh, hi Miku. Anyways, um, okay. Her boots are plain. 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 Boy, look like the, they look like, like rain boots almost. So we're going to fix that. Take the leather dark spa, cut it. And paste it into Miku's folder. Okay, mm -mm 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 -mm. that's about spa. Remember that name, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. Watch her boots carefully. These are her boots, I think. Let me see. Yes, they are. Okay, letter dot spa. Now let's darken it a bit. Make it more leathery. Oh, the dark boots are nice. See how much prettier that looks? They're just like nicer. And that, my friends, is the magic of adding spa files. And now you know how to do it. Now go add spa files to stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, now it's time to learn about how to make your own. Okay, I'm not a skilled drawer. Take note of that. Okay, first of all, draw something. I'm using GIMP. You don't have to use GIMP. Do what you want. I'm going to cheat because I'm a cheater. Um, where's those things? Um, now. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna cheat. Um, let's see, let's see. I want a rainbow. Oh, there we go! <laughs> huh? Hmm. Oh, I can't use the rainbow because I don't know how. I'm just. <sighs> uh. Um. Who likes cheetahs? I like cheetahs. Okay, we're gonna go with cheetahs. Okay, so after you're done drawing your um, texture out, hit save it. Just save it as whatever you want. Anything we do. I'm just gonna. Blah! Okay. I'm gonna make it a ping because I can. Okay. So, uh, yay. You made something. But look, it's a ping. What good is that? That's not a spa file. What you're gonna do is you're going to right click and hit rename. 
And if you don't have a toilet set to show the type of file it is, you need to go into your control panel and have it set to show the full file names, okay? But, anyways, so get rid of the dark pink part or the name of the file, whatever type of image file you have, and make it a dot spot sph, either one. And then hit, and then hit off, and then it's going to ask you if you want to change it. Go ahead and hit yes. Now he doesn't know what to do with it, but PMD editor will. Now I don't know who I'm going to use this on. Um, go away. Um, I'm just going to add this to Miku. Well, everyone uses Miku. Poor girl. Um, turn on this guy. I better copy and paste that name. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and load up PMD editor. And you're going to apply it like I showed you before. You know, I'm going to put it on Lynn. Because Lynn needs cheetah print on his pants. <laughs> because all guys look good in cheetah print. I'm kidding. No, they don't. Alrighty. Let's find Lynn's pants. I think he's a wimp. I like pink cheetahs. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um. So, put, go ahead and do what you did before and add the file file I got right down here into the name um I can't see it Ooh. it'll come out shiny it always does and doesn't have enough key does As you can see, a little bit of cheetah print, mostly on his booty, but you can see it, right? See? This butt? <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's on there, as you can see. And it's kind of reflective. And, um, just for the lols. Because lols are fun. He has pink cheetah on his butt. <laughs> Anyways. Um. <laughs> but yes, that's basically how you add and make .sph files. Thanks for watching the video and I hope I helped. Ask any questions in the comments. Thank you.